This is just a short video in praise of the YouTube algorithm as I've been sitting around here recovering. i got to stop mentioning that. Anyway, I'm feeling much better. Um, didn't cough hardly at all today, so I think I'm on the mend. Um, but I have been watching a lot of YouTube, uh, mindless YouTube. Uh, the algorithm, I watched something, I don't even remember what it was now, with um, David Niven, which was really good. And I started getting recommended all this other Dave and Niven stuff, which led me to a show called Four Star Playhouse. Oh. And that was a show on in the late 50s, like uh, when there was a lot of anthology shows on, on American television. So this is sort of similar to Hitchcock Presents or Twilight Zone. You know, a lot of the stories are mysteries. Um, and there's some other ones too, uh, uh, humor, whatever, just little playlets, half hour shows. I want to go through some of the other pictures here. So I started to watch a couple of the David, David Niven ones. Then I just started getting recommended more play, Four Star Playhouse. Bristol Myers, Four Star Playhouse. The ones I've seen are, all have Singer Sewing Machine as their, as their tie in their title. So in those days, they, they would have one sponsor per show and they would get their name in the show and all that. It's called Four Star Playhouse. I'm sure the reason is, of course, for one thing, they, these are top stories, four stars, what could be better? This is uh, long before the great inflation of Amazon of creating five-star things. So, but it also is kind of a, a play on words because the gimmick of this show, a lot of these different sort of anthology shows have their own gimmick. The gimmick on this one is there's four main cast members and they rotate. And those cast members are David Niven, uh, Charles Boyer, Charles, uh, Charles Boyer, Dick Powell, and Ida Lupino were the four. And then occasionally there would be, and so one of them would be the star of the story each week and they would alternate. And occasionally there'd be a different guest star. But it was mostly those four. There was a total of 129 episodes. And when it comes to Dick Powell, I'm mentioning all these people that you have no idea who they are because you're not 100 years old like me. Anyway, Dick Powell's a guy I, I like a lot. He started out as a song and dance man. He's in a lot of those movies, like those Busby Berkeley movies of the 1930s. Young comedic guy. He rebranded himself in the 50s as a noir hero so he's in a lot, a lot of people know him from that stuff now he was in uh he was i think the, the second person to play raymond to play raymond chandler's philip marlowe on film maybe the third in a movie called murder my sweet which was based on the second raymond chandler novel farewell my lovely and there's a funny story about that. They were going to call it Farewell, My Lovely. They changed the name to Murder, My Sweet because people at that time would have known Dick Powell only as a light comedian. And they felt that if it was called Farewell, My Lovely, people would think it was a rom-com or a musical and not, and not a hard biting noir film. Anyway, so Dick Powell became a, you know, a big behind the scenes player in in his later career, uh, directed a lot of, uh, uh, produced a lot of shows, as well as continuing to act in, on radio and in television. So we got to hope. So he was one of these four, and I've always liked his stuff a lot. And then I found out that within this, call it like sort of subset of episodes of Four Star Playhouse which Dick Powell was in probably about, I guess, 30 of them over the four-year run. He had a recurring series character, and there were eight of those, and it's a character named Dante, who runs a, a ga an illegal gambling joint out of, the back of his, out of the back of his fancy supper club in a big city. It's all vague on that, and it's kind of a, he's kind of a comic rake kind of character, sort of half between, halfway between um, 
you know, Rick in Casablanca and, and that kind of thing. And he gets into fixes. Um, I've, I've just watched the first two and they're fantastic. There's a total of eight um, with the same character, you know, and he has trouble with the mob or whatever, and has to, has to extricate himself um, from some uncomfortable situation, but he can't really go to the police because he's also running an illegal gambling joint. And, uh, you know, usually there's a dame involved that he, that he's, that he wants to help out. And very, very good. I really en- enjoyed them. I, but it struck me that, you know, if this were today, there's, so there's eight of those episodes that feature that one character. I was thinking today, well, that's a whole season of a whole series these days if it were on TV now. But I really enjoy the character. Um, it was, he was created by Blake Edwards, which people might know still as either probably most known still for creating the, and directing the Pink Panther movies. He also directed the movie, he also wrote and directed the movie 10 with uh, Dudley, Dudley Moore. So he focused on comedy more in his later career, but even, even early on, and he did, he did a lot of television work before he moved to comedy. Uh, you can see that he really had a flair for comedy in, in the way that the writing's really sharp. So I'll link to it in the comments. Um, there's a couple of supercuts where it's got all the the, da- the Dante's Casino episodes, all eight of them, in, in one YouTube video. Or you can see them uh, individually. They're, they show up a lot of places. One of those series that I was never aware of, and then all of a sudden it's everywhere. It's on Tubi. It's on... You know, these things get rediscovered that haven't really been out there in the media very much. So it's worth watching if you've got a half hour sometime you don't wanna, and you want to experience some old Hollywood content. You know, some of that old, old style, noir, uh, hard-boiled writing and, and camera work and acting. Uh, it, they're, they're fun, and you can just kind of pick out a random one and, you know, there's a bunch of uh, ones with David Niven on various trains to getting in, in or out of de- different fixes. That's about all I had to say about that. I just am enjoying watching that. I was just going to put up a link, a link post, but I thought it would just be easier to, to say what I wanted to say about it. And hopefully I'll do a, a wrap-up video soon. Actually, hopefully I just did a wrap-up video. I'm going to probably put this on up on some other day coming up when I don't have anything else going up.